I want to now imagine that I've sewn all the way around something and I've come back to the beginning with my bias strips. What do I do now? How do I make it look professional? I can either join them like so and it will have a straight looking join or if I want it to have the diagonal join which is sewn on the straight of the grain so it matches any other join then we have to do it slightly differently and this is how I would do it. You need to imagine where your join might go. And I'm going to try and do it inside the blue so it's less obvious. I'm just going to iron those two bits flat together. I'm just going to zoom in again so you can just see. If you remember when we joined this bit, we joined them at right angles because that is the straight of the grain. And if they're ironed, we can see the crease and it'll be a lot easier to do. Now that I've ironed it, I want to pin it so that I can sew it. You can see that that's where I want to sew. So I just flip one side up making sure it's all still nice and flat, everything's at right angles. doesn't really matter where I put my pin in, so I'm going to put it in a little bit away from the crease, only about half a centimetre away, as you can see, and as long as I sew along the crease, it will match up to the crease on the other side. So there we are, sewn and pressed. You can see where I've sewn. So now we just need to cut off the excess. And sew up our gap, because we left a little bit of a gap. So I'm going to sew that and then I'm going to turn it and press it. There we go, it's joined and it's pressed. So that would be the right side if you didn't want to see it. And there's the wrong side, all pressed down. So that's how you join a piece of bias binding to another piece.